Now let's understand the various scenarios given in the question where we identify that here we have to apply the concept of similar triangles. So many questions, uh, many a time you'll get a questions wherein there is a pair of say two uh, parallel lines, say L and M, and there is a cross between it. So suppose this point is A, this is B, this is O, this is C, and this is D. Then what I say here is that the triangle AOB is similar to triangle COD. Now it is very easy to prove it because these, these two are parallel lines. So definitely AC and BD are acting as a transversal. So if I look at AC, then this angle will be equal to this angle because these are alternate interior angles. Similarly, if I take DC or in fact DB as the transversal, then this angle will be equal to this angle with the same logic of being alternate interior angles. And angle O will be equal because they are uh, vertically opposite angles. So in this case, we have so, so we see that all the three ang corresponding angles are equal. So we can say that the triangle AOB is similar to triangle COD, right? Always remember the order has to be uh, correct. Angle A is corresponding to angle C. Angle O is corresponding to angle O and angle B is corresponding to angle D. So this is the order in which we have to write every time. Now, where we use such kind of scenario, there are many cases wherein we are given, say, suppose a rectangle and there is something across like this. So here we can see that since the in the rectangle, the opposite sides are parallel. So this particular triangle and this triangle will be similar. Similarly, it could be a parallelogram, a trapezium or maybe um, any other quadrilateral where the opposite pairs uh, are opposite uh, sides are parallel and there is a cross between it so definitely we have to apply similar triangle in such questions the next case is that if there is a cross between a circle in this case also the two triangles if i join a b and c d then these two triangles will be similar again this can be proved very easily if i look at the arc b c then the angle formed at the circumference by uh, on the by arc AC, uh, BC would be angle BDC as well as angle BAC. So it's uh, forming on the same minor arc BC. So definitely these angles will be equal with the same logic. If I take the arc AD, then the angle forms are angle B and angle C respectively. So definitely these two triangles are similar. So I can say that triangle AEB is similar to triangle. Uh, it will be uh, D. E C again we have to be very careful about the order right so, so these are the couple of uh, ways through which uh, we actually identify where we have to apply similar triangle there are more of such kinds so let's take them one by one now the next category is uh, in a right angle triangle if I drop uh, say a perpendicular line like this so ABC is a right angle triangle and if I drop a perpendicular say DE on BC then again, the triangle DEC will be similar to triangle ABC. Fine. This is very easy to prove since it's a perpendicular. So two angles are 90 degree each and angle C becomes the common angle for both the triangles. So here the two angles we have proven that the corresponding angles are equal. Then the triangle is similar. So we can write that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC, right? So definitely we can also say that AB upon DE will be equal to BC upon say EC which will be equal to AC upon DC fine now the second scenario is that uh, we are not dropping perpendicular on BC but we are taking any point on BC and dropping a perpendicular on AC so suppose this point is D and this point is E again these two triangles are similar let's see the order as well let's see how so if I take angle C then this angle C is common for both the triangle ABC as well as triangle CDE, right? And one angle is 90 degree in each. So again, with the same logic, I can say that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle CDE, but the order will be something different. Here the angle C is common. So let me write angle C. Angle B is 90 degree here and he, in this smaller triangle, angle D is 90 degree here. So I have to write in this order. So in, in this case, the corresponding ratio would be AB upon ED and that will be equal to BC upon DC and that will be equal to AC upon EC. Correct. So please remember that whenever you come across uh, such kind of figures in any of the question, we have to apply similar triangles to get the answer, right? 
The next case is uh, uh, such kind of figure where say the triangles, let me name them, say the A, B, C and say this point is D and this point is E, right? So here uh, one angle is given, right? So this is also one of the uh, uh, good hint in a question. If it say that one angle is equal or one pair of angle is equal, then definitely you will find that in most of the scenario, there is one angle which will be common and uh, the, the two pairs will become uh, two pairs of uh, corresponding angle become equal and we can establish a relation of similar triangle. So if you can see here that triangle A, B, D is similar to triangle A, C, E, right? Because angle A is common and angle B is equal to angle C, right? So, and the next case is that uh, of such scenario where this point, so let me just name this point. So it is A, B, C and this is D where B, D is tangent to the circle and A, B and A, C are the chords and A, C has been extended to meet at the point D. In this case, again, we can establish a relation between these two or three triangles given, right? So one thing is that this angle will be equal to this angle. Fine. Let me prove it. It is very easy to prove. So if I drop a perpendicular from B, uh, from the say, center O on uh, joining B and joining O with C. So what we see here is that if this angle is theta, then this angle will be 2 theta because this is on the same arc BC. So angle formed on the circumference will be half of the angle formed at the center. Fine. Again, since OB is the uh, perpendicular on BD because OB is the radius and BD is the tangent. So this angle will be 90 degree. Correct. So let me assume that this angle to be alpha and in triangle BOC, we can see that this is an isosceles triangle because OB and OC both being radius will be equal. So this angle will again be alpha. Fine. Now if I add all these triangles or uh, all these angles within this triangle BOC, then we say that 2 theta plus 2 times of alpha is 180 degree. Correct. Or I can say that theta plus alpha is 180 degree or alpha would be uh, in fact, this will be 90 degree. Alpha would be 90 minus theta. Fine. So if this angle is 90 minus theta and this entire thing is 90, so but natural this angle will become theta. And hence I have proven that triangles, uh, the angle CBD, that is this angle is equal to this angle. Fine. Now if I look at triangle uh, ADB, then this angle D uh, and in triangle say BCD, again this angle D uh, is common and one pair of corresponding angles are also equal. So we can write that the triangle A, D, B will be similar to triangle say B, C, D or in fact it will be B, D, C in that order. So it will be B, D, C because angle A is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle, uh, in fact angle D is equal to angle D, right? So definitely angle B, angle B here is this uh, this entire angle. So this angle will be equal to this angle, fine. So this is also a very important uh, type of question which we appeared wherein we have to apply similar triangles. So whatever I'm just exploring here is that to understand that what are the types of questions where we have to apply similar triangles. So just keep these things, this figure in your mind. So whenever a question similar to, uh, to this kind appear, immediately you will come to know that we have to apply similar triangles. There are a few more. Let's see them also. Now, this is again very, very important. Here, the extra conditions are that these lines, all these lines are parallel. And let me name them. So, this is A, B, C and say this is D and this point is say P and Q. Then there is a relation between P, Q, A, B and C, D, right? Now here we can see that there are a lot of pairs of triangles which will be similar. So if I observe triangle say ABC, if I look at triangle ABC and triangle say PQC, then we can say that these two triangles are similar with the same logic that BC will become the transversal. So this angle will be equal to this angle. Similarly, this angle will be equal to this angle and angle C being common will also be equal. So these two triangles will be similar. and if I look at the other side, that is a triangle say DBC, then this is also similar to triangle PBQ. 
again with the same logic i can say that angle b is common here right uh, bd is acting as a transversal for pq and dc because these two are parallel so this angle will be equal to this angle this is lo the logic is the corresponding angles are equal similarly this angle will be equal to this angle fine so these two are the pairs of triangles which are similar and let me establish a important result so that we can remember them so whenever uh, in, uh, such question appears we can directly use those end results right so here what we can do is that let me assume that p q c is say x and uh, b q to be y and let me assume that this is a and this is b and say p q to be h so we have to find the relation of h uh, of, uh, we have to get the relation uh, using a and b to get the value of h right so if i look at the first uh, pair of similar triangle then we can say that a uh, a b or let me take it to be yeah a b upon p q should be equal to b c upon q c right so uh, putting this uh, uh, corresponding values which we have assumed here so it will be a by h should be equal to x plus y upon x correct or i can write it as h by a equal to x upon x plus y so let me assume it to be equation one now in this triangle i have to use the similar kind of thing so it will be say so i can take pq upon dc is equal to uh, say bq over bc right so substituting the value so it will be h by uh, b will be equal to bq is y upon x plus y so this is my equation number two so now let me add these two equation one and two so if i add one plus two i get h upon a plus h upon b is equal to so it will be x upon x plus y plus y upon x plus y clearly the if i add these thing that will become one so we have the relation that h upon a plus h upon b is equal to one so if i just rearrange them appropriately so h will be a b upon a plus b so this is the relation i was talking about that we have to remember because it's a very very important relation so the question which appears from uh, of a similar kind we can directly apply this right let's move to the next case now let's take another kind it is uh, there is a right angle triangle given which is say a b c and the two lines are drawn say the point d is on a c and this is e and f and they are perpendicular to a b and b c respectively in this case also uh, all the three triangles that is triangle a b c triangle a e d triangle d e f will be similar right so let me prove it so uh, look at the triangle a b c only so if i observe in triangle a b c and then this angle is 90 degrees so let me assume that this angle is theta so automatically i can say that this angle c would be 90 minus theta correct now if i uh, observe triangle say a e d then here the angle is theta one angle is 90 degrees so this angle has to be 90 minus theta from this i can definitely say that this is parallel to this right because the corresponding angles are equal similarly we can prove that this is parallel to this as well right and if i look at triangle d f c then this is 90 minus theta this is 90 so this angle will be theta correct so here you can see that this triangle a b c is similar to triangle a e d which is similar to triangle d f c right so this is a very very important thing now after doing all those uh, uh, understanding about different ways where is the question from similar triangles are framed let us uh, summarize those things that how do we identify then where we have to use or apply similar triangles right so this is the summary of whatever we have done right now so it is like if one pair of angle is equal if this particular thing is given then this is a good hint to uh, say that there would be uh, uh, another angle which will be common to both the triangle and hence we can establish the relation that the two triangles are similar so this is very very important right the other thing is that if you come across a statement like the two pairs uh, of the two lines are parallel so again we have seen that if there is two lines parallel and there is say cross between them then definitely we can see that these two are similar so this is also another hint so these are nothing but just a hint when the statements like this appears in a question and then we can identify that or can be ensured that in most of the cases similar triangle concept can be used.
And third and fourth, we have already seen that if there is a cross between the two parallel line or a cross inside a circle, then again, the pairs of triangles are similar. And the fifth is the question something like this, right? So say AB into D is equal to BC into EF. So if I rephrase it, reframe it, I can write it as AB upon BC is equal to EF upon BC, uh, EF upon DE, right? Now this thing happens for similar triangles. We have seen this is nothing but pair of opposite sides are uh, are in same proportion. So definitely there is the highest possibility that the question can be solved by application of similar triangles. And this thing can also be written in a similar fashion that AB upon DE is equal to say DE upon CD. So this is again these two are good hints to ensure that uh, or to, or to apply the concept of similar triangles. And the sixth one is that question regarding finding a area of uh, ratio perimeter side of any linear dimension. So if some question like this, in some cases, definitely we can use the concept of similar triangles to get the required ratios. So this was the entire concept where we practically have, a, uh, have learned that what are the types, kinds of the questions uh, wherein we should apply the concept of similar triangles. Hello friends, please like and share this video and also suggest the topic in comment on which you want us to prepare the next video. Thank you.